how to make a monthly budget spreadsheet here in Excel. So here I have income, fixed expenses, variables, expenses, and then I have here the remain value and then the balance. So it's a very useful spreadsheet here in Excel. So let's find out how to make this spreadsheet step by step. Let's go. Let me start here with the title. So I just want to type monthly budget. And now I need to, to put every month of the year in each one of the columns that I have here. But it's going to take me a long time if I just need to type month by month. So uh, there's a smart way to do that, that in Excel. So let's say I just type January in a short way. Uh, because if I type month by month in each one of the columns that I have here, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take to the cows go wrong. So let me just write the first month of the year here. And then I click, hold, and drag to the right. So as you can see, okay, December is just there. It's all months of the years is just in the screen right now. So, okay, it's, it's just take me five seconds to do that. And what I need to do now is just using the, the fourth row here. And I'm going to type here the income, okay? Let's start with the income and then we're going to, if the expenses, fix it, expenses, and then variable expenses. So uh, this income here, I just want to select this cell right here and then click drag and hold to the column M that I have that I have here okay so all these columns I select and then I just go to run and then merge and center this way I can put this little title here income in the middle of of my spreadsheet okay so we select many many cells and then we merge all the cells into one giant cell something like this and now I'm gonna use this first column here to in the line five, just to put my paycheck, for example. Ah, let's say you have here two paychecks in the month or three, you know, whatever, whatever paychecks you have. So let's say here I have one paycheck. So this is the first one. And below that, I just gonna put the second paycheck that I have. So paycheck, second second paycheck okay okay as you guys are seeing the text is a little bit bigger than the column size that i have so i just need to to readjust the size of this a column here so let me just click between a and b click drag and hold and drag to the right okay just like this uh paycheck paycheck and then i have let's say a side job, side hustle, and then other stuff. So okay, now I already have this income that I can put here. So let's say just to example to be more practical, my first paycheck is let's say twelve hundred, and my paycheck number two here is just fourteen hundred. My side hustle, let's say I just made three hundred. Other uh, zero, okay. Just uh, just put a sign here, but I can put zero. It's, it's the same thing. And now in this last row here, I just want to calculate the total. The total that I'm gonna use here is just the sum of all these values that I have above. So to do the sum, we're just gonna use the sum function. So equal sum. I just need to double click here. One two, okay. Now I can select number by number, or I just can do it in a smarter way. So I just need to click, drag, and hold all the cells that I want to sum. Okay, and then press enter. So my total income in the January month is just 2,900. So let's say uh, you have now a new income. Okay, you have a new income. You just want you this way you just need to put a new row here so how can you insert a new row in this excel spreadsheet in this income without a mess if the formula if the function of the sum you just need to click whatever you want here in the row number five six seven eight whatever uh just uh, let me just click let's say here in the line number seven okay i just need to do, uh, click if the right click right click here and then I click insert okay now I insert a new row 
And as you guys can see, the summit function is working perfectly. It's not mess with the function. Uh, so let me add, no, 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 I will not add anything here. So let me click if you right click and then delete. Okay. So this way you can insert or delete uh, entire row in Excel without a uh, mess up the function. Okay. Our January month is complete. You guys need, of course, put the information in February, March, and so on. But let's uh, just make it simple in this video. And now I just want to put here uh, my fixed expenses. Okay, now I'm gonna select the cell to the column number, col column M. Okay, it's not numbers, it's letters. Just clicking home and then merge and center. Okay, now let's say fixed expenses. So we do not change through the months. So I just want to add here, uh, let's say rent, and then I have car payment, and then enter insurance. Then I have gene, it's very important, and other stuff. Okay, and then I have the total. The total we already know how to do it. So equal sum, double click it, and then select everything you want to sum. Press enter. Okay. Let's say my rent in the January, oh, there's uh, some issue here. I don't know if the column B is actually from the January month. Okay, I know, but let's say, I don't know because I can't see the January month here. I can't see what this column C, uh, what's the month of the column C, let's say that way. So let's do something very useful here. So I just want to click view. Oh, it's very important to select this cell right here, okay, cell A3, A3, and then I go on to view, and then freeze, and then select the first option here, freeze. That way, whatever you are in this spreadsheet, you always have these two first rows here, always freeze for you, okay? So let's say you are in the row number 47 here, you still can see these first two rows and it's very good because whatever the position you are in the spreadsheet, you always can see the title and the subtitles here. It's very, very useful way to, to make this spreadsheet. So let's say the rent I has a uh, expenses that is 600 and then I have 300 for our payment. Enter insurance, let's say it's $10, 10 bucks, 30 for our gene. And other stuffs, let's say in the January, I just expand 50 bucks, okay? So my total expenses for fixed expenses is 955, okay? So it's working fine. And now just let me do here the variable expenses. Okay, now I just want to select the cell up to the column M, home, and then merge and center. Okay, so let's say variables. I just have uh, electricity, electricity bill, and then I have water, and then I have here a cell phone, and then geo care, child care, child care, and then I have food, and then I have some fun and other stuffs, and then I have the total. Okay, how can I sum all these expenses that I have here? I just want to use the sum function, okay? So just me double click here in the sum function, then select all the all the rows that I have. Enter. Okay, it's working. I think. Let's say the energy bill is like a hundred. And then water is third, phone is like 40, 400 for a child care because you know it's very expensive. Food, 300, fun, let's say just 50 bucks here and other stuff like 100. Okay, so variable expenses, expenses. I just have a total of 1,020. And the last two things that I want to add here is just the remaining value. So remaining and then the balance. To the remaining value, I just want to subtract 
all the subtract all the expenses that I have from the income. So let's say that way equal, and then I'm gonna select the total income, then subtract the total fixed expenses, and then subtract from the variable expenses. Okay, so it's gonna be that way. I'm gonna press enter to confirm, and then I have a remain value in the January month. As you guys can see here, January of 925. So to make the balance, like uh, for example, this is the first month that I have, January. Okay, so the first balance that I have here is just equal to the remain value. Okay, let's press enter. But the February month, Mar March, April, May, and so on, I just want to have uh, this formula here, equal the previous month plus the current month, okay? That way you can do the balance. So maybe you can grow your bank account or you can downgrade your bank account, okay? So let's do that way. The remain value here, you just can click, hold and drag to the right, to the right, and then just let me select these two cells here. I'm gonna click, drag to the right, okay? Click, hold and drag to the right. Uh, the total value, I, I'm just going to do the same thing here. Just click, hold, and drag to the right. Here, the same thing. Click, hold, and drag to the right. And here, the same thing, okay? Now, guys, uh, everything is working. However, we can make this spreadsheet, this monthly budget Excel spreadsheet, a little bit more beautiful. So let's start with a little detail that's change everything. So let me click View, and then Bright Lines. Look, is if a uh, more clean look. I like the way. So let me just select this month budget, click, drag to the to the right, and then home. I'm gonna merge and center. Now I just can click, hold, and drag down to the second row that I have. Then I'm gonna press home. I just want to borders, all borders. And okay, it's looking a little bit more free, you know. Let me select again, and then I'm gonna click home. I just want to make sure it's all in the middle, okay, all center. Now I just go home again, put it in bold. I just want to click here in the color. I'm gonna paint it black, and the font, the I just want to make it white, okay. Now it's good. Uh, income. I uh, just want to paint it, the background, like this green right here. I'm gonna put the letter bold, and then I'm gonna make the font uh, white, okay? Now it's good. Let me just select everything that I have here. In the income, now I just click home, borders, all borders, okay? Now it's looking good. Let me just uh, select all the cells that I have in the values here. I just go home and then I just click in this dollar sign here, okay? Now look, uh, I have this correct dollar format now. And just let me do the same thing here if the fixed expenses. So I just want to select everything, home, all borders, and I need to select the values, home, and click in the dollar sign. Let's say the fixed expenses I want to put in bold, white, but instead of just use uh, green, I just want to use uh, something like red, okay? Red or yellow. Yes, I just can use this color here, okay? Yellow. Or I can use head one. Yes, I just want to use head. And then in the variables, expenses, I just want to do the same thing, okay, borders and the values, I just want to put it in like dollar formatting, variables, expenses, the title, I just want to put it in bold, white, and then I just want to select the yellow one. Hey, it's good, it's good so far. So let me select the remain and the balance, home, bold, borders, and in all the values that I have here, just clicking home and I'm gonna put the account number format. Okay, now it's looking good. Let's uh, just paint the remain value 
remain in the balance. I just want to play, paint it in blue. So let's say this blue right here, and then the font in the white. Yeah, it's good. So it's pretty good. So I hope, guys, this video can help you out. If you like this video, just click in the like button. And if you have some questions, just comment down below, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you in the next one.